good morning today i will teach you the static stress analysis using fusion 360 okay so here so here i am using a connecting rod so this connecting rod consists of uh, one large pin and smaller pin and we have to apply uh, loads and we have to apply constraints then we have to find the find about the uh, find out the displacement find out the stress etc okay so here first of all you have to uh, the so here in the tutorial you can see there are six activities so when when you complete the six activity you will get better understanding about the static stress analysis so here the activity number one go to the go to the summary and you can see in the summary you can see the you have to switch the simulation workspace to create the static stress study okay so go to the so here you can see the uh, how to switch the sim the workspaces okay so here these are the different workspaces so click the simulation workspace to the workspace to select the uh, the simulation workspace then the next thing is uh, uh, define the mesh size okay so here go to manage settings then you select the mesh and then the value of absolute size is 0.1 okay that is the mesh size then the next one is uh, selected the desired unit system so here uh, you can uh, see in the browser tab you can see units okay double click here you can see the unit settings so here units metric si custom so here us and then click ok so your unit system is actually changed then the next one is check that the model materials were properly assigned so go to the materials tab materials tab then click the study materials okay uh, the study materials then you can then the materials uh, window will actually open okay yeah. okay then you can see uh, the the components of the material so here you can override the material so here the the material is actually the connecting rod material is aluminium okay so here you can see the aluminium or oh, if you want to change the material you can click here and you can change the material okay so in that way the material you can uh, add the assign the material then the next thing is use constraints to stabilize the model statically so here uh, here I am applying the so here uh, load is applied on the larger pin and the the top face and bottom face of the smaller pin is actually constrained in both x and y is a y and x direction so here go to constraints then select the structural constraint then select the top face and bottom face of the pin select the top face and bottom face of the pin then uh, apply ux ui and z then uh, then you, you can see that is actually constrained okay so I, I will show you okay so you can see this is the this is the select the uh, I will I will show you so right click here and edit okay you can see the top face and bottom face is actually selected and you can see the two faces ux select axis ux u and z okay then you can see the fixed uh, two that is this that is the next constraint then uh, edit structural constraint you can see uh, the four edges one two three four the four edges selected you can see the targets four edges and constraint in the z axis is a direction then fixed three that is the the central portion that is central portion right click here and edit constraint you can see this is the central portion uh, you have to you have to select this and you have to constrain the y direction okay then fixed four that is the again that is the circular portion of the connecting rod that is one edge and select that edge and constrain it in the y axis okay so that is the constraints then you have to apply the load okay so load uh, you have to uh, uh, you have to apply a force in the negative x axis in the larger pin okay so you have to select this uh, this loads you can see select this loads okay you have to select this loads and select the top face and bottom face of the uh, larger pin the top face and bottom face of the larger pin so this top face and bottom face you can see two faces 
and direction type you have you, can, you have to select vectors that means fx fy and fz direction and then the value of fx is minus 2000 l pound force that means the force is in this direction okay then you have to uh, generate the contacts okay so that is uh, click the contacts and then then uh, then click the automatic contacts okay so you you can see the different contacts is there okay so here the contact type is actually so there are different types of contacts that is bonded separation sliding rough offset so here the contact type is actually separation okay that means this uh, when when this actually moves it will not contact each other but it will not penetrate each other so that is the contact type uh, separation means okay so we have to apply the contact type as separation okay then finally you have to uh, go to the solve and click the solve button okay when you click the solve button it will automatically uh, automatically solve and you will get the results okay so i will show you the results of study number one okay so i will this is the study number this is the results of study number one okay when you click this uh, this study stress okay uh, safety factor okay what is the factor of safety then click stress you can see one minus stress first principle third principle okay you just click here you can see okay what is the maximum value and what is the minimum value so here the stress and uh, the one minus stress is maximum is 20733 maximum and 68 minimum and the location is also you can see in the screen maximum is 2733 and minimum is 68 okay then if you want to see the displacement click here displacement then total displacement you can see the total displacement then what about the maximum displacement 0 0.003 for 06 maximum and minimum is this and you can see the where is the position of the maximum and the minimum displacement and in this way you can find the reaction force you can find the strain you can uh, find the contact pressure etc okay so you can you will get the all the results then the next is uh, that is that is number study number one okay then study number two is actually create a second study okay so you have to create another study okay so here in the browser tab you can see study to static stress so how to uh, generate a new study okay so right click on on the study one and you can see clone study okay right click on study one and click on clone study that means a new study is actually generated okay so here you can see study number one and near to study number one there is a circle with a black dot that means this 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 study is active so here the study number two static stress only there is a circle but there is no black dot that means this study is not active so i will i will activate this click here now the study number two is actually activated okay okay so this is this is actually study number two now the study number two is actually activated okay so here study number two is actually the i have to delete all the constraints on the smaller pin and i have to apply a force 2000 pound force in this direction okay that is the study number two okay so here that is study number two okay so delete the uh, i will show you the summary okay so delete the fully constraint that was applied to the smaller pin okay so we have initially in the study one we have applied uh, fixed constraint to the smaller pin first of all i will delete all these uh, all these uh, all these constraints okay so how to delete this cons uh, this constraint go to the study two then select the static and, and you, you have how many constraints we have applied if you want to delete anyone so right click here and then click the delete part that means that constraint is actually deleted so here the constraint is actually a delete then i will I, I want to apply a load again go to load then structural load you can see we already explained then go to so right click here edit structural load that means you can see this is the this is the structure in this direction that means this is in which direction fx that means you have to apply 2000 pound force okay in the first case this is actually minus 2000 that means this is in, in negative x axis negative x that means fx is a negative x that may that's why this is called minus 2000 this is this is positive 2000 okay then so
so we have applied so in the second case we have deleted the constraints in smaller pin and we have applied a uh, force of 2000 pound 2000 pound force applied to the smaller pin okay then go to the solve like and and one and one more thing that is there so here uh, you have to activate remove rigid body modes to prevent free body motion okay so you have to activate remove rigid body modes so here go to manage tab then go to settings okay here you can see remove rigid body modes so check here that means that is actually activated so that is uh, used to prevent the free body motion so now we have applied the constraints we have applied the loads then you have to uh, select the solve icon and uh, solve this click the solve button then you are you will get the solution okay so i want to check the results go to the results tab okay so go to the results tab you you, you can see the results like uh, you get the you see the results for the study number one so what about the safety factor stress then displacement reaction force strain contact pressure etc okay so now now you have two results okay you can see study number one static stress study number two static stress. then i want to compare study number one with the study number two okay so here there is a an, an icon is called compare so click click the compare okay now you can see your your screen consists of the two two results study number one and study number two so go to the left side of the uh, screen and select the simulation model study one static stress so this is study one then click uh, the bottom portion of the study number two and select this as study number two so this this the first uh, image the, this first it is the study number one and this is study number two okay so i want to uh, i want to see the results okay so there is a button called a synchronize camera so select synchronize camera and when you when you select synchronize camera you can see that when you uh, when you move the first uh, simulation the second simulation will also move okay so when i when i when i drag this the second simulation also drag this okay if i want to zoom it you can see so that is the use of the synchronized camera then the next one is synchronized result type so i just click the synchronized result type then then i will uh, select the stress here okay okay so so i will select the stress here automatically the in the, in the second simulation you can see the uh, the stress the result stress will actually display so that is the use of the synchronized result type so if i want to see if i want to compare the displacement select displacement you can see the displacement so this is the displacement if i want to see the displacement in y so here you can see this is the displacement in y so what is the maximum displacement what is the minimum displacement so in this way you can compare if i want to compare a contact pressure just contact pressure let's say x you can see contact pressure x so in this way you can compare the study number one with the study number two okay so that is the uh, tutorial about the static analysis so go to this page and you have to uh, go to this page and you have to select the tutorial tab then uh, go to the tutorial tab then simulation go to simulation then simulation then click tutorial and you can see the first tutorial tutorial to static stress so click here and then you have to complete the five different activities then you will get better understanding about the how to conduct uh, static analysis in autodesk fusion 360 okay so once again i will uh, i will i will conclude this okay so here you have created a new static stress analysis and defined it parameters then second one is you have to apply all the constraints to make the model statically stable then apply it load then define contact sets then run the analysis and uh, check the results then uh, next is cloned study one to make study two so we have uh, generate another study and we have to uh, change the constraints and loads in study two then run the analysis and compare the results with the study one okay so i am sure you get uh, a better idea about how to conduct uh, static stress analysis in fusion 360 thank you